Hi everyone, it's Rax, and welcome to another Challenge Rift Guide. Here we have kind of an impale set sort of being built, um, and you will be able to get this Challenge Rift down without any problems. The thing is, is this person took a bunch of skills that do nothing for you. Fan of Knives does absolutely nothing, so you can just forget about Fan of Knives. Sentry does nothing, you can throw that away. You don't need bolas either. It's all just worthless. Really, I only press three buttons the whole time. You vault around with vault to move around, of course. You only have to press shadow power once. Just press it once and you have all the runes and it's active all the time. And then you just throw in pails. So you just throw in pails and vault. That's it. Couldn't be any easier. It's a little bit squishy. Just stay at range, throw your impales. You'll get it down. Let me take you into the rank one clear that I currently have and I'll show you the path. All right, everyone, let's get this challenge rift down. Well, there's not much to press in this challenge rift. Push shadow power once at the beginning and then never again. Vault around and throw impales. Got to be the easiest instructions of all time. So you pretty much just dance around, hit everything with impale. You are a little bit squishy, so try to stay back if you can. Um, up here, there is a shield pylon down low, so feel free to grab that. And it will help you stay alive. As you see, I'm scouting out in all the wrong areas, so you can certainly uh, beat my time. But at the very bottom here, there is a shield, and that's going to keep you alive at least for a period of time. But uh, I, beat this, I beat this challenge rift minutes and minutes and minutes ahead of the timer. You'll be just fine here. So let's talk about the major, major Diablo news that was released today. Diablo Immortal is releasing on June 2nd, and Diablo Immortal is releasing on the PC. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I am so excited for that. In fact, I am taking my tablet back and I'm just going to play on PC because I'm a PC gamer at heart. If I want to play on the move, I'll play on my phone, but uh, I don't think I have any use for playing in between. But now you can play however you want. You can play with controllers, you can play on the phone, you can play on your tablet, you can play on your PC. One thing that people have asked me about is, is there any plan for console? I haven't heard anything about console, so I'm guessing the answer is no. But um, if they are going to do something for console, we can bet that it will certainly not be on launch, since launch is one month away and they haven't said anything. So probably not on console yet, but who knows? One day, uh, maybe it will depend on the popularity of the game. Maybe if it's super popular, they do it on console, and if it's not, then they don't. But uh, getting it on PC is a major, major win. Also, on Thursday comes the gigantic global event for Diablo 2, the first ever ladder for Diablo 2 Resurrected. So we will be blasting that and trying to get the rank 199 legitimately. Of course, whoever is in first is going to be certainly a botting cheater or an account sharing cheater, like they always are. But hopefully Blizzard will be monitoring that and banning them retroactively so we can actually have a fair race. We'll see how they handle that. Exciting stuff coming here, guys. Just like that, the challenge rift is over. And all we have to say to Infernal Maiden, just give him a couple of impales, is... Wait for it. We're gonna get her. Uh, die, Infernal Maiden. Sayonara. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I make these guides every week, so come on back next week, and I'll have it ready for you. Thank you.